Good evening. With the Albuquerque area at number one in the nation for car theft, some lawmakers are taking a second crack at curbing the epidemic by cracking down on thieves who sell stolen cars at auto yards where they are parted out. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is in downtown Albuquerque with the story. Madeline? Yeah, well, Jessica, since 2014, Albuquerque has skyrocketed from the number 12 spot in the country for car theft to the top spot in 2016. How do we change that? Some legislators think they have an idea. This is an issue that is affecting so many New Mexicans. They won't stop it overnight, but a small bipartisan group of New Mexico lawmakers is hoping to be a catalyst in slowing down a massive problem in our state, particularly in Albuquerque. Car theft. It's not a perfect fix, but it is something that we can put into place that's not going to cost taxpayers any money. It's a simple reporting system. Sound familiar? Obviously, our deputies, the citizens are frustrated. We're hearing about this every day, and we're doing whatever we can strategically to, to make an effort to, to deter it. During the 2017 legislative session back in January, Representative Monica Youngblood and Senator Howie Morales, flanked by high ranking law enforcement, presented their plan. The idea was to take a pawn shop like approach to auto recyclers. When someone is looking to sell a car to an auto yard, the business is required to run the VIN to make sure it's not stolen. The recycler must also submit the seller's contact information and info about the car to the state within 48 hours of the transaction or face penalties. It's not going to catch everyone, but what it will do is give law enforcement and our state and local agencies the tools that they need to actually crack down on some of these people and identify who they are. The bill passed in the Senate, 28 to 14. Every nay was a Republican. Then time ran out before getting a vote in the House. This coming session, Representative Youngblood is optimistic the bill will get through both houses and to the governor's desk with bipartisan support. Now, as to why those senators voted no, Youngblood thinks they might have viewed the bill as restrictive for businesses, but she says the bill actually has the support of the Automotive Recyclers Association. Now, one senator did tell us that he voted against this bill because he thought the penalties for a business that didn't follow through on this law were too harsh. Jessica? All right. Thank you, Madeline. The upcoming legislative session is just 30 days long. Governor Susana Martinez will have to put this bill on her agenda for lawmakers to take it up.